Okay, no captions. My... Oh, did it show up? My notification? I can't tell. Hey, Muriel. Welcome in. Thanks for the like. I think that was you. Yeah, that was you. I couldn't see my own like. I was sending out... Um... I was sharing it out to a group. And oh, they still won't let you see the closed captions. I'm just... <sighs> Really sad. <laughs> Thank you, JW Gaming. Oh gosh, it minimized to my desktop again. Why does it keep doing that? Does anybody know? Not really anybody on right now. But I don't know how to stop it from just dropping to the desktop. How much are we carrying now? 3,000. Well, that's down from what it was. For your good lady. All crafted by the great Aorland How are you doing today, Muriel? How are you feeling? Is it still up? Good to see you again. Ooh, my hands already hurt. That's not good. Can't a man drink in peace? I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's <laughs> Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. Oh, I was thinking this was the beginning of. Um, no, no, that's the beauty Helgen of the whole reborn. plan. We're going to get <coughs> Sabyorn and give it to us. The Doing better time, you're all good. Pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? 
You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you it was raining. It was pouring rain this morning, but then it but cleared up about, I don't know, noonish. It was sunny the rest of the day, but now it's Maybe really cold because it's clear. This. So it's All only like 38 degrees out right now. Get in there and get it done. Now get going before hey, Nate. Sabjorn Welcome in. Brain Welcome back. someone else to do the dirty work. Okay, that's not what I want. Remember, wanted. Sabjorn will be needing a help. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted to do the... I wanted to do the one that's the held in... That's it. Hey, All creep. Make it look good. Yeah, yeah. I'll get to that. Don't worry, but... I wanted to do this one first. This what I wanted, wanted to do. Yeah, but when it gets clear, Muriel, that's when it gets really cold. Is the cold worse for you or the damp? <coughs> which which causes you the most discomfort? The cold? the damp with a combination let's put it this way would you rather have a cold or precipitating outside oh I didn't want the bowl jeez forget about it has she heard any rumors no I don't think there's any rumors to ask her about actually Damp, yeah. So you prefer it to be cold and clear over it being, <clears throat> excuse me, warmer and raining. No, oh, actually, I, no. Why am I taking things I wasn't trying to take? Shishka. Let's get out of here before I accidentally steal something. Already did that. Good to see you again. Oh, good. There was something I could use the cheese for when I took it. What was it? Wait, I'm taking your tomato. And your ale. Your maters and your ale. Don't want another bowl. Bingo, bango. Let's see. What can we make? Birch. <clears throat> hey, Reuben. Welcome in. How are you doing? I don't know what that does. I want to use that. That looks like fun. Ale braised saber cat. I'm okay just playing Generation Zero and dealing with your depression. Oh, Ruben, I'm sorry you're feeling depression. <clears throat> I understand that all too well. Anything? 
any of us can help you with. Now, why couldn't I make... Because it's raw mud crab meat. Oh, no. Really? Not crab meat. It's mud crab meat. Seriously? What can we do to help cheer up, Ruben? Want me to go fight a dragon bite with my fists and die so you can laugh at it? <laughs> Peter always laughs when I have trouble with something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, wait. How about we tell Karjo bye bye for now? Yo, Karjo. What can I do for you, friend? What did I... I will shoulder some of your burden. What's going on with his... Never mind. Good lord, he has a lot of firewood. Whew. Then back home is where you will find me. Okay, stop whatever you're doing there. It's weird looking. And why... Let's go get Inigo back for a while. We haven't had Inigo for a while. Riften, right? Die. But not in the jail. Would he be in the jail? It doesn't seem like he should be in the jail, but... That could be where he is. Didn't you read about it? Oh wait. Feel free to ask me anything you like. There's someone who likes very much to live for now. Dragonborn. Dragonborn. It's an honor, Dragonborn. Wait a minute. Hey sunshine, welcome in. How are you feeling? How are you doing? She's so cool. Little bracken. In it go. Why are you sitting in here pouting? Model ship again. Glaze candle. Nate, thanks for the light. Oh, you know the quest where you get the Bone Wolf pet? I did the quest for it to activate. It says a courier is supposed to find... Oops. It won't let me... <sighs> it hasn't shown up yet. Did I do something wrong? You eat breakfast at one in the morning, sunshine? You don't get hungry later. Whoa. I think I would get hungry. Um, let me look, Reuben. Hang on a second. Why is that stealing? Um, the bone wolf. Hang on. Let me look under the books here. I've got the mod. Um, if you've not already done so, go to the Blue Palace in Solitude and speak to Falkfire about Wolf Skull Cave. 
starting the Mass Prize. Sometime after that, a courier will deliver a letter from Falk, starting the Wolf Queen Awakens. After completing these two vanilla side quests, a courier will deliver a letter from Bulger Bearclaw, starting the quest Let Sleeping Wolves Lie. <coughs> But that's isn't that like six hours away, sunshine? I'm just curious, you know, eating breakfast at one in the morning. I mean you're gonna have lot, you're gonna be hungry by seven, aren't you? I would be. I have to eat about every four or five hours. It usually appears in a big city, that's where the courier is supposed to appear. Did you already do the the two uh wolf skull cave things, Ruben? Are you looking at my screen, do you see where the bone wolf on the right side? You have to do the man who cried wolf, and you have to do wolf queen awaken, and then Bulger bear claw will, let, will do the let sleeping wolves lie. So did you already do the two wolf skull things, Potema? <laughs> That's what I was saying, Gerald. She said she just had breakfast, and I was like, man. Breakfast at one in the morning? Oh, I think it's gonna talk to him. Don't look so sad. Everything okay? Oh, why does it keep minimizing to my desktop? I really wanna know. Yes, we will fight side by side again. Yes, we will. So come on. He goes, yeah. You and me and Bracken and Janessa. Sorry, right, Bracken. Bracka, Bracka. What? I can take stuff here? What? Why can I take stuff here? Probably just not weapons. That's probably what it is. You mean to eat at one in the morning? I know the breakfast sounds Excuse delicious. Me, it just seems so early in the morning in the middle of the night to me. I mean, I'm usually still up streaming at one in the morning. <laughs> I just think by 7 a.m. 7 I'd be hungry again. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll try. Yeah, Gerald, you heard the beep, and that was the microwave. My roommate was making food again. Oh, you have done those, both of those quests? Okay, Ruben. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay that you get up that early, sunshine. It's I'm the opposite. I go to bed. I don't even go to bed till about three. Or sometimes I'll go earlier, but I watch TV until about three or four. And then I go to sleep, and then I don't get up until like noon. Six hours? Oh no, sunshine! I can't. My blood sugar. I have to eat four hours. If I go much longer, my blood sugar goes really low. And it really does not feel good. We're going to go to Fall Wreath, and what's his name is going to want to come with us, but we're not going to let him right now. We're going to start Helgen Reborn. <coughs> Six hours, sunshine. So you eat breakfast. When do you eat lunch? Wait a minute, where's Inigo? Oh, well, where's Bracken? Oh, I'm just not seeing people, I guess. Oh, no. You can have some bread. Let me know if you see anything you like.
Can I get you s Well met. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I pretty much eat breakfast and dinner, and that's all. Jump up your puppies. Come on. Come on, Riley. Come on, Leo. Right here. So when do you eat again, Sunshine? I'm just curious. It's interesting. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, well, it's interesting to me. Like, I don't see how someone could go that long without eating. Unless I'm asleep, I could go that long. But um, now my blood sugar gets low and I get clammy and shaky. And ugh. Once I get up and eat, in the morning, then I gotta eat something about every three or four hours. Or I'm not gonna be doing well. You only eat one meal? Wow. I can't do that. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. My blood sugar would like plummet. And I would be passed out. Is it still here? The gosh darn dragon. Nothing in my left hand. Nothing in my left hand. Huh? Huh? Where is it? I'm just going to shout in his general direction. <laughs> uh, only those of you who've seen um, Monty Python will under under get, understand that joke. Where'd he go? Where'd my red dot? Over here, but I still don't see him. Oh! Door! Zaproon! Door! Nah, he's not coming right now. I have to go back to town to get him to come. <clears throat> what is that? Whoa! Did he do that to me? Uh, I don't think so, Mr. Dragon. Take that in the face. Whoa! That's what you get for doing that to me. Of magic is this. The best kind of magic. Be dead now, but where did it come from? I don't need two steel arrows. Cold and rain coming your way, Gerald. Yeah, it's all that rain we had, what, a week and a half ago? Windy and pouring rain here. You, it's your turn. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Take a seat get the cold out. Take a seat and get the cold out. Oh, there's Lucian. He's not wearing his armor I gave oh, hello. him. Okay, let's get this started. Help you, friend. <coughs> oh, bless the divines, you came! Well met, and welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me, what happened at Helgen? Well, no, now that you mention it. Then it's as I feared. My brother and his family are lost. 
God damn it all. <laughs> I'd hoped for better news. Oh, you're gonna go to bed, Muriel? Okay. You have a good uh, meal and sleep well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow, I hope. Yes, I've heard the fort is full of them. But appearances can also be deceiving. <coughs> if I'm right, these are no bandits at all. I have it on good authority. There is a man known only as Val inside the keep. Thanks for hanging out, Muriel. Good night. He's the leader of a small group of mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Their aim is to kill Thalmor wherever they're found. Sign me up. That they've come out of hiding is beyond mysterious. They're insurrectionists. A resistance movement, if you will. His name is Valerius Tiberius Artoria. Valerius Tiberius Artoria. We served Artoria. many years together in the Imperial Legion, as captains under Titus Mead II during the Great War. Hmm. He was a good man in those I guess days. Guess those five cops will lose their man. job after they've done that to you. Then the Aldmarian. They should be. They murdered his wife, son, and daughter in cold. Oh, well, they already lost their jobs. They're going to be tried for murder. <clears throat> Did you watch the video? I haven't watched the video. They marched them down the streets of the Imperial City and tortured them until they were dead. They've already been fired in front of the Imperial China. Palace itself. They said, and they've been charged with be murder. That any family members of Imperial officers found anywhere else in the province would receive a similar fate. <clears throat> there were many such atrocities committed by those wretched maggots Ragnar within those walls, and even more unspeakable tragedies in the rest of Cyrodiil. Okay, yeah, yeah, blah blah. We were under order to view the... Surely you know the history. If not, this book will help you understand a little of what we went through. They should be more than beat horse whip, but... <coughs> I need you to go try and talk to Valerius. Reason with him. Tell him Marcus Janus requests a meeting with him. Tell him I'll come to the fort alone. Present. Did you watch it, Sunshine? I don't know if I can watch that. Give this ring to him. It was his He's dude. Quit giving me stuff. If any of his men try to accost you, show it to them and tell them it is a gesture of this goodwill from me. Staunch protectors. They'll give you quarter if they know I sent you. Approach the guards and show them the ring. Tell them Marcus Janus sent you to see Valerius Tiberius Artoria on urgent business. Show them this note with my seal. God, he Tell just keeps giving me stuff. Valerius. His eyes only. <clears throat> Please return to me as soon as you can. They should be more I'll than prepare beat. to leave and they be should, ready uh, to go when you return. I don't know. Make haste, young one. And may <laughs> fortune favor the foolish. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. Where's Janessa? Is she missing? Or is she drinking? Oh, there she is. Uh-oh. Don't let Lucian see us. Well, yeah, I didn't watch it. I I had the opportunity to, but I didn't watch it. I just couldn't watch that. Um, let's see. A bit. And then let's go there. It's not too far from where I am, but... I'm just going to travel. My hands have been hurting. I almost played Greedfall for a little while tonight. I was going to play Greedfall for a little while and then Skyrim. I don't know why I just had the... The inkling to play Greedfall. What the... What the... What the? What the? Dilly, 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 dilly. Oh, my jaw isn't as bad as it was last night, though. So hopefully, I won't be as boring as as I was last night. <coughs> Impressive. Well, thank you there, Mr. Inigo, the Brave. Ooh, look Stop at you! Right there. Ooh. Don't You're so even scary. think about moving. You Ball see my friends coming? They won't hesitate to kill you if you so much as breathe funny. 
<laughs> now, who are you? And what is the meaning of this intrusion? Quickly now, speak. And he went to jail. Because you were, yeah, self-defense. Thomas Streaker, welcome in. Oh, funny guy, eh? No, How girl. How funny would it be if we got you like a hawker? How do you cut a hawker? Never heard of him. <clears throat> you are mistaken. There's nobody by that name here. Now, be on your way. We don't want to hurt you. Don't know him either. I'm beginning to run out of patience with you. Leave. 